Hello everyone, welcome to EDUCES, a complete solution for institutions. Here I am going to explain you how the notification work in EDUCES software. We have multiple types of notifications in EDUCES such as internal mail, external mail, chat, push notification and SMS. And also can send automatic notification and manual notification as well. Management can send any type of notifications to any users like admin, staff, students and parents. Before sending any notification to any user type, first management needs to configure the notification types in notification template and notification master screen. First, let's go to notification template. In this screen, management can configure the message template as per their wish. As EDUCES provides the different notification types, so to configure the no template, select the default notification type from the field. Then, default message will be displayed. You can configure the message by editing and default content and then save. While configuring the message content, on dragging the fields under the template, column and save then users will receive notification with that specified name likewise you can configure these many types of notification messages using this screen next notification alerts master institution management can give or restrict the access of noti automatic notification to be received by the user using this screen by default, EDUCES opts the notification types for the notification alert type. To give access to any notification alert type with any notification type, just on checklisting the related notification types. And to add the notification for the type, click on edit button and then select the template name and then the default message will be displayed under template message. And then save. Then automatic notification will receive by the user with respect to the notification alert type only for opted notification type. EDUCES has five types of notifications push notification, SMS notification, internal mail, external mail, and chat. Any user can communicate with other user using these types of notifications. To opt these notifications with respect to the user role, go to Campus Master. Application master in that application settings screen. In that, select application options. In this screen, management can opt or unopt the notifications related information with respect to the user role just by checklisting and removing the checklist on clicking the edit button. An update. Based on the notification types on checklisting, then automatic notifications with related to that feature will be activated. Automatic notifications works for the various related information configured in the EDUCES ERP. Let's have a look on some of the notifications. After registering a user in the application by providing their mail ID, then they, they will receive the login credentials automatically to, to their mail ID. Even after going with the forgot password in the login page, on entering their email id and, and submit then the new password will be generated and sent to their mail id automatically or else if they enter their mobile number and submit then automatically the message the new password message will be received to that particular user when staff records the attendance of the students in student attendance entry screen then automatic SMS will receive by the parents to their mobile number if the SMS option is configured in the application. When management enters the student payment in the screen on checklisting to notify parent, then automatically message will be sent to the parents on their student fee payment information and also can notify on student fee related information to the parent in fee receivable screen under fee detailed 
after configuring the student digital diary in campus master application master in academic settings on selecting the digital diary settings then parent will receive automatic internal mail at configured time on their student diary work status and homework related details if the institution has transport facility then driver can message to the parent easily and when driver passes the stop wherein the student didn't check into the vehicle then parent will receive an automatic message that the vehicle is crossed to the stop when management creates the parent teacher meeting in the application with the provided details then automatic message will be sent to the assigned parent and teacher as well related on their meeting scheduled if any changes in timetable means if the primary staff is absent and if the management assigned the secondary staff in the place of primary staff then secondary staff will receive an automatic message on their assigned class and subject when the management shares any document using document sharing screen then the staff receives the message on task creation to any user and task assigned to any of the user then that user will receive message regarding their assigned task and on task changes as well as we discussed we have five types of notification types so let's go with those five types implementation first let's go with the push notifications to receive the push notification for any user then they need to download the edusys mobile app from the google play store and should be able to log in with their credentials at least once in the mobile app then itself the user gets notification when any one messaged or mailed and also if the institution opts for is institution opted for push notifications then any of the user can receive the push notifications related to the messages now let's go with chat option this option is just like whatsapp chat in the edusys erp this chat is also available in mobile app to receive the push notifications related to the chat without logging into the mobile app frequently first user need to download the app and should log in with their credentials at least once management staff students and parents can use this chat but some difference in using this chat with respect to the user role user can send the friend request to the user to whom they want to chat with in add user section and then the user will display in the chat option and then they can start messaging to the selected user all the registered users will be displayed under add user session can send images and upload any type of documents when a section is created and student are assigned to the section then automatically a group is created and the students parents will be assigned in that group in the chat option this works only if the management checklist the point of can automatically create email or chat group for sections this should be in checked it then in self automatically group will be created and displayed in the chat also can message to the group where the users who are in that group will receive this message also can create the group in add group manually and add the users into that group and that group can be seen under the chat can modify the group related information in campus master application master in master settings screen on selecting the communication groups can view the created groups and also can add the new group in this screen can view the users list who are assigned in this particular group we have different functionality with respect to the user role first let's see how management can use this chat option super admin having all access to this chat 
they can send message to any of the user and to any of the group when a group is created then automatically super admin and branch admin gets added in that group and can see all the messages sent by other users in that group now let's see how staff can use this chat option staff can message to the management parents using this chat option if the staff is assigned to the sections the list of the parents of the related students who are assigned to that section only will appear if the staff should be given the chat option is read only mode then management need to checklist the is chat read only for staff under application settings screen if this is in checklist then the staff members having this chat option as read only mode if it is in read only mode then staff can view the messages sent by parents students but they can't reply to the message and now let's see how student and parent can use this chat option management can give or restrict the chat option for parent and student using application settings screen just by opting or initiating the is chat enabled for parent and is chat enabled for student if this is in checklist then automatically the parents and student can access the chat option parent and student can message when they log in into the web app or mobile app parents and students can send message to management and staff only in group parents and students can reply to the message sent by the staff or management and also they can send message in the group but they can't start the first conversation with the staff and the management parent and student cannot chat with other parents and students and other staff with irrespective of the assigned class and sections they can't view the other parents and student details under add user section staff can message in a group if she or he added in that group and parent can reply to that message but this replication message can see only that staff only other parents and students can't see this conversation this is how edisys implement the chat facility in the erp can view the list of the users who are added in the group and also any user want to exit they can exit from the group now let's go with the internal mail this option is accessible for all the user types such as super admin branch admin staff student and parent management can give or restrict this internal mail option just by opting or unopting the checkbox of enable internal mail feature in application settings screen and also to receive and push notification related to this internal mail then if you checklist this then automatically the push not when a user mail to any of the user then push notification will be received by that user regarding this internal mail and also the management can give or restrict the access of this internal mail as read only just on checklisting the is internal email read only for staff you can see this internal email icon on top right side of the page with email icon this mail works only for the internal purpose can use this mail in web and mobile app as well after login into the application in web and mobile app then user can view the mails received user can compose the mail check the inbox sent mails and check the mails which are marked as important and draft and trash can perform different activities such as mark as read mark as unread mark as important mark as unimportant and delete while composing a mail to write the content can perform different types of operations which are available here can also attach the image and attach the video as well search operation makes easy to get the required mail if the user send any mail to any user then that user will receive push notification only when management will checklist the can notify when a section is created 
and students are assigned to the section then automatically group will be created and displayed in the mail and respected students parents will be assigned in that group this works only if the management checklist the point of can automatically create email or chat for sections in application settings screen if any user sends any mail then automatically by default super admin will be added as cc to that mail as this will be implemented when the management checklist the option of does super admin need to be opted in all internal mails if the staff should be given the mail option in read only mode then management need to checklist the is internal mail read only for staff if it is in read only mode then staff can view the mails sent by management parents students but they can't reply to the mails so this is about the internal mail now let's move to external mail option to give the external mail access management should checklist the enable external email feature external mail will be received by the user when management registered them in the application by providing the mail id to receive the external mail by the user first management need to configure the smtp portal information in campus master application master in application settings on selecting application defaults under that smtp configure the related information and then save then user will receive mail from the institution mail id which is configured now let's go with sms option i have already explained this configuration of sms in account management video you can go with that video now all these types of notifications will be recorded in campus operations automatic scheduler in notification scheduler screen management can send notifications to staff parents and students as well using this screen via internal mail external mail push and sms can send notification to a single user and group as well also can send notification immediately and later also just by clicking the respective radio button on and entering the respective information to send notification to any single user click on plus and select the user notification and select the user role based on the selection of the user role remaining fields will be displayed select the respected fields and select the username to whom you want to send a notification if the management want to notify now then click on schedule now or if the management wants to notify later then select schedule later and select the date and select the time at what date at what time should the notification the notification should be sent to the user and select the notification type through which type management wants to notify to the user can select the notification template on checklisting this can select the notification template then default message will be displayed under notification message or else management can write the own content and then click on schedule notification then based on the configured information user will receive the notification and that record will be displayed under notifications field to send notification to a group users in one shot then click on plus and select the group notification and select the group name these group names will be displayed which are available in communication group screens and follow the same procedure for the single notification all these notifications can track in the screen under notification section management can also track the notification status in the screen if the notification is failed then comments will be displayed and can see on clicking the i icon under action field based on the comments you can make changes with respect to that and can schedule notification again unnecessary records can be deleted using delete option and this delete option works only when the notification status is in pending or rejected once it is completed then it cannot be deleted management can also view the available sms count in available sms count section and 
purchase details in notification usage section filtration works on selecting the date range status and notification type user role user name and on selecting user notifications and group notifications search field makes very easy to get the required information quickly in this way management can configure variants of notifications automatically and manually easily with edusys erp thank you